Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Finally got some time to get outside, which is getting harder and harder to do these days. So I'm trying to weasel in some videos for you today. And one of the first things that I need to get out of the way is to show you something that I recently received from Paul Walker of Paul Walker Knives. He is a uh, custom knife maker out of Australia does forge knives and he was the one that did the uh, custom version of the Jess X way back in the day so when the new knife came out and let's talk about that real quick so we can cut through the confusion uh, for a long time I was just kind of going with the nickname because that's what I got used to calling it but I needed it to fit within the lineup so the other name that we had for it on the books that's what it's going to be called so the knife isn't the dev x it's the jx omega which to me is just the symbol it's the jx within the omega sign which is rounding out that line of knives because knives came out after that they were still in the J jx line and you might see something else a, a rebirth of a knife in the future but in the meantime, while we were waiting on, on the, uh, the Omega to get here, I just, you know, offhand asked Paul Walker if he wanted to take a, if he wanted to take a crack at it. And he's like, sure. But this one, we're kind of just sticking with the nickname that we had for it that he coined. So this is the Mega Dev. And this is the forged custom version of that knife and it's a little bit thicker stock uh, not much thicker but it is thicker this, this started off as like quarter inch 5160 hammer forge of goodness so we're gonna let you take a closer look at this here and that way if you want to maybe reach out he makes some pretty cool stuff and still got that that original Jess X pretty badass so if you want to know more don't go away So let's check this bad boy out. Now he can do these a couple different ways. Uh, I've already seen him making the second one for somebody and he's gonna have the flats more blued or whatnot. This was like the first try. But let me tell you something. I mean, he made this just going off the spec sheet that I sent him for the JX Omega. And he got it so freaking close, you know, for being something that you're banging out of a piece of metal. I mean, the profile, like everything about it is almost dead on. It's just there is, there is a notable difference, even though it may not look it, you can feel it uh, between the thickness of the steel. And this one, probably be in G10 and this would be my car with the liners of course you're a lot, you get a lot thicker back here at the end that does add some weight to it whereas this one feels pretty nimble this one's the heavier duty uh, sister knife but man for somebody that can just take an idea and a drawing and get it right is pretty friggin amazing and if you were, if you remember the uh, the one that he did for me with the uh, Jess X, because I wanted one that like had the handle the way it was intended to be, because you know everyone blamed me for that Schrade handle, and it's like eh, don't blame me for the execution. You know it was a little pinchy at the back, it was a little flat, but he made it uh, the right way. Ended up being a little bit heavier doing it that way, but he was able to get it right. So the fit and finish on his knives for not having like a huge major, you know, operation is outstanding. 
Uh, he went out and beat the crap out of it, pounded it through things, checking it out. Again, if I didn't mention it, it is 5160 uh, steel. And it's just because it's like, hey, what do you got on hand? It's like, okay, let's go ahead and use that. But it is super cool that I've got a Paul Walker custom knife for the first knife in the line and the last knife in the line. And the fact that he got it so close really is amazing. I guess that's not going to be flat there, but... See it now. He did like you know. I've always said knife makers are knife makers. They're not sheath makers, but <laughs> he, he did it. He did all right for you know a workable uh, Kydex sheath to go with this. I mean, it's no Atlas sheaths or Yellowhawk, but it got the job done. Took care of it and put a D ring because I mean this one is a little bit bigger. A little bit heavier so we just intended to do this with like you know typical baldrick style carry whereas the omega i actually wear this on my belt now work tough generally uh i mean they they don't overdo it with the sheaths to keep the cost down so they usually come with uh max force which i, I believe is just like the asian name for max expedition the like the malice clips and I just put them on the sheath, and you wouldn't think this is something that you wear on your belt, but it's actually comfortable. And I like that I can have something this big that's capable of doing just about everything on my belt, and just the way that it carries, I was like, I don't even notice it. Put it under my shirt, uh, my outer shirt, you wouldn't even notice that it's there. This, this would be probably a bit much on your belt. So hopefully, I'm hoping to get a day here before, you know, we'll miss too much fall. Like the perfect day where I can film in the right place and, and just do something kind of like that big bag of blades, you know, chopocalypse. Or get all the big stuff out, get the Nomad out, get the, the old Jess X out, get all those big things out and, and go to town with it. Instead of uh, try, trying to squeeze in time when I can to get out here and do some filming. But definitely am super impressed and super happy that he was able to take this vision and bring it to life and get it so dead on accurate. I mean, if, uh, if you're getting a custom, now he said, you know, a custom one, I, I, off the top of my head, I want to say it was about 300. And it does take a minute to get to the U.S. from Australia because Australia is like, that's like the continent that, nobody wanted they're like okay go over there like way out in the middle of the pacific just sit there until we need you but yeah getting stuff from australia usually takes a couple of weeks and especially with all this nonsense going on the mail gets even slower with customs so it took me an extra week once it even got to the u.s but i did get it and that's what's important um the only thing really about this like I said, this being the first one, we just went with it. But like, if you want it to have more hammer marks in it, you want this to be more blued. You know, if he know if he knows what you're looking to, for at the beginning, it's going to be easier to make that happen. Just the biggest real difference between the two is, uh, you know, it doesn't have the machined fuller in it, which I think makes a huge aesthetic difference. But it is definitely a big hunking knife. I've gotten a lot of, you know, crybaby comments, you know, from the previous little looks at this. I mean, why you just made a belly with a long handle? If you're new to the channel, go back. I mean, the multi-position handle concept is not new. All right, this is the third knife that it's on, and it works. Anyone that has one of them will tell you that it works. But it gives you a lot of different grips for a lot of different positions. Every position changes the balance, changes what you can do with it. Um, and it's comfortable. People with like giant Michael Spanger's hands, I mean, this is like something perfect for those guys. You know, those big frost giant types. Uh, yeah, I like it. I've always been a fan of it. Uh, it always made sense to me. I, I don't give a crap what you think is the way to do it. 
Uh, I, I, I'm not much of a conventional thinker. I like to come up with ideas that make sense to me. But this one, yeah, this is this one is definitely my baby thus far. There is one other reboot you might see where we're talking about, but we'll, I don't want to save that surprise when it's time. Yeah, Paul Walker, check him out. Uh, he's mainly on Facebook. Probably have an email for him uh, if you're interested. I mean, you don't have to just get this one. I mean, he's, he's making some pretty cool stuff, big stuff. If you've got an idea that you would like to uh, have somebody make, but everybody's so busy, he could probably work it in. You know, you want to get him, you know, at that level because eventually they all get big, and then it's like, man, I can't even like call the guy anymore. <laughs> it's like, forget about it. So that's that. Yeah, we will get out here on another day. It's just, it's really hard to make time to get out and do the test videos. Such is life. Such is life. That's just the way it is. Uh, we all do different things these days. It's not like the golden days of YouTube where we were just raking in cash. No, gotta diversify. But I do. I do like my knives. I do like my knives. Very, very happy with this. Very cool. Um, will I use it? Yeah, I'm sure I will once or twice. I've got so many of them, but it's like the. Just like the uh, the, the Jess X he did. I mean, that's got this has got a lot more sentimental value to me as part of my knife history and just the fact that it's a one of and it's the first one. So he got this one done right before Vic got the first prototypes of these cut. So it was a nice little it was a nice little timing. Great job, highly recommended. I know there's a few people that follow me that have a couple uh, Paul Walker knives. I really like them. Man, I better do at least one thing with this knife in this video or else the Presbyterians will pray for my ruination. Yeah, it's from a movie. Can you guess, can you guess what movie I watched last night? Is it ringing any bells? If you figure it out, you won't win anything, but at least you will gain my respect for your movie knowledge. So that is, and, and this thing is like a giant freaking three inch sponge, but we're going to do this anyway. Enjoy the river there, piece of wood. There's the perils of batoning on this thing. I mean, this is going to pretty much murder anything you baton. But he's already, he did test all that stuff. Take the edge here. I'm just holding it so it's not like the most stable surface. This wood is gnarly. So even though this thing's a giant sponge, it's still going through stuff. And let's real quick just see the spine here. It's that good workable spine. That's good. All right, I did something with it. I had at least I wasn't planning on it, but I had to at least get something in here. So there you go, folks. That is Paul Walker knives, and that is the Mega Dev, the custom forged version of the JX Omega. Which, when the JX Omega is ready, once it eventually comes out, that one will be available at. Uh, it'll be a DLT exclusive. And we're aiming for, and it looks like that's going to be around the $200 price point. That's the sweet spot. Uh, $300 on the custom forge one from Paul Walker if you want to go that route. Or you don't even have to get this one. I mean, whatever knife you've got rattling around in your head or 
something else that he may be doing uh, you know good choice good 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 guy to uh, make it and I will somehow get like a whole day where I can film eventually at some point <laughs> So go ahead and po post your complaints about it, you know, in the description box below. I didn't show anything. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, so there's that. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.